Hey guys, let's try one more example here. Let's try f of x equals log to the base 3 of x plus 5. And up next, our request and dedication. This letter comes from Doug. He says, Dear MathMan1024, <laughs> I've been trying to graph these logarithmic functions for some time now. Could you possibly help me out? <laughs> Signed, Clueless in College. Well, Clueless, here you go. Is the x plus 5? Is that? No, this, notice how I don't have parentheses around this. So it stops right here, what's inside the, logarith what's inside the logarithm. So it's log third base x, the whole thing. No, or is he? Log of the base 3 of x uh, plus 5. Okay. This plus 5 so is the outside the log. Technically, is out, there would be a parentheses after the x, and the plus 5 is plus x for everything. If I do that. Yeah, that's cool. So it means, what does this plus 5 mean? <coughs> so up 5. Up 5. So where is my vertical asymptote? x equals 0. I'm up 5, so that means my new origin, so to speak, is up here. What's the point that I know for certain on this graph? One zero. This 1, 0, based from that new origin, right? Mm -hmm. Now what's going to happen here as I go up? Is this upside down or anything? So as I go up, I should be doing what? So this is 1. How much further am I going away? By what factor? Three. Three. So times 3 times 3. So it's, it's not 2 times 3. It's 3. Right. This was a distance of 1 times 3 is 3 times 3 is 9 and so on. There's no 2 that shows up here because my base is not 2. If I go down the other way, distance of well, 9. I'm going up 2, though. That's where the 2 comes from. But a distance of 9, 3, 1, then what? 1 third, 1 ninth, so it gets very difficult to graph the further down I go. I know I'm basically graphing it on the axis, but you kind of work with what you got. And there's my graph. Now you see how one plot stops right here, just gets too steep for it to finish graphing. But you do have the same key points that I already identified. Right here, here, and there on the edge. So if that had been an x plus 5, the x plus 5 would have been in parentheses? Go back to where you wrote the equation. Let's go right here. Yeah, if it had been 3 to the x plus 5, x plus 5 would have been if, in parentheses. If x plus 5 in parentheses, and it yes. Would have stayed uh, on where it was, it would have gone left five. Yeah, it would have just okay. shifted the whole thing okay. to left five. All right. And Perfect. then it would have all been the same shape. It just would have been. Exactly, okay. exactly. The only, the only time I actually changed shape from the original is if I put like a, a two in front of this. Two log? I could, yeah, I could put a two in front of this, which okay. means so it's going to stretch it out right. by two. Right, multiplying by two. Okay. Yeah. Which means this base point would be the same, but this guy would actually be up here, and this guy would have been double its distance from that. So 1, horizontal. 1 would have been 1, 1 times 2. Would, one, would it have given you 1 no, no, times no. What, 2 what, two, what right? 1, 0 would still be 1, 0. But instead of 3, 1, it would have been 3, 2. You'd be doubling that y, that distance okay. from that. Your distance okay. range, right? Yeah, 3, 9, those would stay the same. So you still go over 3.